just take a look at this very special video and may it touch your life today. It never makes sense when you go, I love thy law. Teach me your precept. Bind them. And you go, and I'll do it with all of my heart. Like, who is this guy? This must be some super Christian. Some, he just loved the law of the Lord. No. He came to understand that the precepts of God. Precept starts with God's going to visit me. And when he visits me, he's going to speak to me. And what he says to me, what he decrees, what comes to me from him, from his thoughts, what he speaks to me. God, if you teach me that, you help me to understand that, I'm going to do that with all of my heart. Yes, that changes everything, don't it? (laughs) Then he said, direct me in the path. Now you see that it's an impartation. There I will find delight. Isn't that good? Turn my heart towards your statutes. What's going to be the result? Not towards selfish gain. My heart, turn, Lord, turn my heart toward because, oh my Lord. When he turns your heart, of course it's going to turn your heart towards his. Toward him. The way that he feels about things, so you're gonna feel, look at things the way that he he looks at it and feel about it, the way that he feels about it. So you're, of course, you're gonna live your life out of that. Yes, Lord. Can you see it? Turn my heart toward your statutes, toward not not a rule, but your statue that you spoke over me. Mm-hmm. Can't you see that God? There's some stuff that you not don't just change all the words that you've heard from the Lord, the promises, the things that you're still waiting to see come to pass, and the stuff that the enemy is telling you it ain't going to be, it ain't going to be, it ain't going to happen. No, not after you heard this, because a statute, it don't change. It don't change, it does not move. He's not talking about a bunch of rules and regulations that we got to try to come up to. He's talking about his word that has come to us. Yeah. Um, it's not going to change. Yeah. Yes, Lord God, and it starts with him. Here's the psalmist telling God, Lord, you direct me in the path. Lord, turn my heart towards your statutes, not towards selfish gain. Turn my eyes from worthless things. Woo! And what's going to happen? My life's going to be preserved because then I'll be able to see the stuff that really ain't worth it. And what we were seeing, what we've been praying and and uh, even in our prayer time tonight, Lord, you are worth it. You are worth it, not my pain. So turn. He's done that tonight. Even I didn't like, turn my eyes. That's what our worship was about tonight, to turn my eyes from worthless things because it ain't worth it for me to spend all my time crying about what I'm going through. Yes, you see it. You already know. And what's the rest? What's the best? Well, you've already spoken to me about it. My emotions get upset, my body gets tired, my mind gets worn, but in my spirit, no, God, I'm turning toward you. Yes, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Come on, give God a praise on that. Thank you, Lord. Here's the next part. It says, fulfill your promise. Personal relief may be feared. A whole new reverence is going to come up. When God fulfills his promise. That's why the fulfillment of God's promise, it ain't just about us personally. Right. Something's going to happen to us personally. Our, our level of respect's going to come up some more. <laughs> <laughs> but there are some others that are going to, this won't become real. That, that level of fearing God. Not I'm scared of God, he's going to kill me. No, no. But uh, the, the best definition of the Lord ever given me in my life is that I'm just so in love with you that no, no other opinion matter. Yes, yes, yes. And so, Lord, when you fulfill your promise that you may be, that some more people are fall in love with you yes. to the point where nothing else matters. About, uh, they don't care about nothing else but what you yeah. think and say. Because they know what I've been going through. So, Lord, when you fulfill your promise in my life, my family that's watching me that think I'm crazy right. for this oh, right now, yeah. some fear is going to come to them. Yeah. Understanding yeah. about yeah. you is going to come to yeah. them. Thank you, Lord God. I didn't start preaching. Take away. Oh I love this. Oh I couldn't wait to get to this one. Oh Take away the disgrace I dread. You know how you always live with, okay, if I follow 
this word if I do is this, this really the way you're telling me. This really gonna work? I'm gonna be disgraced. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna look like here. But I just put it in normal terms. I'm gonna look like a fool. They already think I'm a fool now. Not that I really care what they think, but don't let what they think come to pass. That's all the psalmist was saying. I really don't care that much about what they think, but the reality is what they think will become true, God, if you don't come through. It'll be true in their understanding. They'll think I really was a fool. I really was out of my mind. I really was just on some ego trip. But God, you do this. And he says, your laws are good. Can you? Did you know that? How do you get to the point where you see the laws as being good on a personal level and even where other people see that these laws are good? See, because from the outside looking in, it looks like you're living, you don't never get to do this and you don't never get to do that. I'm like, no, I don't want to. Right. I don't even, what do you mean don't get to? I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> He's already spoken to me. Life. Yeah. Life forevermore. Abundant life. Not just life, but abundant life. Yes, Lord God. Simple stuff, God, then told a good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over. It's a, and it's law. It's law. It's law. That's how you come to the point where you say at the end where he said, how I long for your precepts. How in the world can you get to the point where you say, I long for your precepts? Because now I know a precept is I long for what's in your mind. Something else I thought about about that feminine definition. Yeah. Um, uh, you know I was going to go back to that. <laughs> See, because precepts, you're talking about, cause my wife always used to ask me this question, and most wives do this. What you thinking? That's why I said precept is a relationship word. We keep, we've been taught that, all of us, we've been taught that a precept is is just the the decree. It's what the it's the rules and the things that were spoken but the actually the precept goes all the way back to when it was just in his mind so it's relationship that makes you go lord you know, I'll, I'll give you the spiritual way of saying it spiritual way is what art thou precepts for my life now here is the real way when you just by yourself and you're two o'clock in the morning you go lord what do you think See, that's relationship. Daddy, what you thinking? The way stuff is working, and I don't see. What did you mean by that? What did you mean by that? See, that's a precept. Teach me your pre. Teach me the reason why my life is going this way. Teach me what you meant when you said this. Because so so then you say, I long for your precepts. I long to know. What was the thinking behind what you're telling me to do? The way you're telling me to live. Don't that take all that religious stuff off? Yes. Here's the rest of what you're saying when you say how I long for your precept. I long for you to visit me. Because remember we talked about the word precept starts with visit. So you're saying I long for you to visit me. And what? Let that precept, that thing that's in your mind, I long for you to visit to me, visit me, and now speak it to me. How I long for your precepts. I long for your visits and for your importations. Oh, don't it change everything? Oh, now everybody can say, Lord, I long for your precepts. You're going to sound crazy to the religious folks. You long for God's precepts? Don't you think we got enough commands already? No, but you don't understand. I want to know the thinking yes. behind yes. the pre. Yes. So you, you stuck on the rules and the regulations. Right. I want to yeah. know the why. Yeah. So that even when the Lord does give me a command and says, don't go here, don't go there. Lord, why? Was you protecting me from something? Yeah. Don't invest here. Instead, put it there. Don't live here. Live over there. So you just go, man, the Lord told me to do something. I got to go do it. Lord, what was behind that? Did you make me miss something that I didn't need to get into? Thank you. See, now you don't feel like you're being manipulated by God. It's like, thank you, Lord. See, I long for that. I want direction. Speak to me specifically. 
And of course, we can look in his word, and that's part of the reason why we read the word, because he's going to lead us by his word. That's what that's the thing that gets some of the people that say, I don't need the word of God. I just let some they always want a prophecy, meaning, you know, some, somebody's got to prophesy to them. If you don't know the word of God, you don't know if a prophecy is off. You don't know if you're getting a precept from God or a precept from that person who looked at you across the room and prejudged you, read you, assumed some things. Now they're getting up and they're giving you what the God, the Lord told me to tell you something. Well, so where did that precept come from? Ooh. I long for your precepts. See, visit and come and speak to me. Lord, decree into my life. Enact. I love that. That was one of the definitions for precept. Its member said it's an enactment. So all you're saying is, Lord, I long for your enactment, for you to release some stuff on my life. Thank you, Lord God. Ooh, now you see why I was so excited. So every time we gather, and there are places that are dark and void, just like Genesis 1. Then we're saying, Lord, I long for your word. Speak over me. I long for your visit. Visit me, Lord God. Speak to me. I'm going to hold on to it just like law. Yeah. Just like the Ten Commandments. And because he hmm? spoke it, it is law. It is law. Cause, now, that's, that gets into that kingdom aspect that Dr. Monroe was talking about. Whatever a king decrees, remember y'all heard him say it? It is law. So when God speaks over our life, it's just as sure as when he makes that sun come up in the east and it settles in the west and it never changes. Yes, Lord. God. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Come on, give God praise for his